What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about all the different dailies that are available in the game. This is going to come in very handy uh, starting this Thursday when the Anniversary Jubilee event begins. Of course, during this event that will start on April the 1st this Thursday and it will run until April the 13th, every time you turn in a daily quest, you will get a Jubilee box. Now, not only do you get these boxes with this event, you also get the double XP. So I know a lot of people are excited about that. But in these Jubilee boxes, you can do uh, or get things like crafting material, motif pages from all the different crafting styles in the game, furniture recipes, uh, worm cult motif pages, the new outfit style page, the Imperial Champion weapon style. You can get transmute crystals, a lot of things you can get from doing these daily quests. So every time you turn in a daily quest, you're going to get a Jubilee box. So a lot of people love this event, not only for the... Um, you know, the, the double XP and that kind of thing, but for all the different style pages and furniture recipes and things you can get from doing all the dailies available in game. I'm going to put a list of all the daily, uh, daily quests you can do, you know, the things that count for this down in the description if you'd like to read over them for yourself. There are a lot of dailies in this game. You probably could complete them all in one day by yourself. You probably have to play a lot. I know a lot of people will go out and have friends or guild members. And of course, they'll just kind of do the, the rinse and repeat where some one person will go grab the dailies from an area. Everybody will go do them. They'll turn those in. The next person will grab the same dailies from that area and just kind of, you know, over and over in that same spot. No matter really how you do it, it's going to work. So just be aware you are you are going to get a box for every daily quest you turn in. So you can do things like, you know, your undaunted pledges. You can do things, uh, your guild daily quest from the Fighters Guild, uh, Mages Guild, and undaunted daily quest. Um, also, you can do things like crafting writs. If you do crafting writs daily on your characters, every time you turn in a crafting writ, no matter how many characters you have, you're going to get a Jubilee box every time you turn one of those in. Also, from Trials, uh, Craglorn Quest, uh, there's also quests, of course, in all the zones. Northern Elsewhere, uh, Imperial City, Rothgar, uh, Thieves Guild, Gold Coast, uh, Vardenfall, or Vardenfell, excuse me, Clockwork City, uh, Somerset, Merkmire. Uh, you're just regular northern and at southern elsewhere quest. Of course, the dragon hole quest that you have down there and elsewhere. Uh, some of the things like Western Skyrim. Uh, of course, your Cyrodiil settlement quest. So places like Bruma and things if you play a lot of PvP. Uh, your Fighters Guild bounty quest. And there's some different PvP quests, of course, for also for Battlegrounds. So there's a lot of different dailies that you can do. Uh, no matter what you like to play, whether it be PvE or PvP. There's going to be a lot of ways to obtain these Jubilee boxes. And the good thing about this event, in my opinion, is it's a good way to still grind, you know, levels, grind CP by just doing daily quests. Because if you have a 100% XP bonus on and you have, you know, just, just, just say, for example, just a 50% scroll on, you're getting 150% extra XP. You're turning in all these daily quests in all these areas. You're gaining a lot of XP by doing that. So it's not something where you're just going to have to go out if you don't want to just go out and grind mobs or whatever the case may be. Go out and just farm dungeons, things like that. You can just do the event, just enjoy doing all the different dailies and all the different zones. Some of these you may not have done in a long time. Some of these you may have never done before. So if you have not completed some of these zones, I would highly recommend completing them before the event starts Thursday. That way you will have all the uh, dailies from the different areas open to you. But just overall, it's a very fun event. Like I said, it's easy to grind CP, easy to grind levels uh, in, in this event because you're just you know doing your normal dailies and turning them in and getting rewarded for it. But like I said, if you guys want to read over that list in its entirety to see every single daily you can do. It will be down in the description. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on so you know when everything here on the channel goes live. And check out everything down below. My Twitter, of course, the uh, community discord and the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. The website, along with the 5% discount code, is listed down there as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.